Hello everyone, today we will show you how WP Cafe food menu works. You will be happy to know that WP Cafe food menu is available in our free version. Now let's see how it works but before starting, make sure you have installed WP Cafe plugin in your WordPress website. Now copy and paste the short code and publish the page. Next thing is, you will see the food menu is available in our page. Now let's say we want to change the pizza category at the first. How we can do it? So for that, we'll get back to the product categories and find out the pizza categories. After getting the pizza category, we'll make the food menu order zero and update it. Now let's see whether it works or not. Yeah, it works. You see the pizza category is now in number one. You can control your food menu from the short code section. Let's say you want to hide all the thumbnails. Then make these thumbnail options know from the short code and update the page. Similarly, you can change the category, order and so on. In the same way, you can edit this food menu with the Elementor. Now I'm gonna show you how you can edit this food menu with the Elementor. We can simply edit the page with the Elementor. So when you will install the Elementor in your pages, you will get this menu. And now we'll find out the food menu tab and just drag and drop it here so that we can get our menu. Now you see the menu is available already. So how we can modify it? We'll simply add our category from here and then we'll publish it. If you want to change any label, you can change it from this tab title. Now update the menu and the menu is already available in your pages. Similar way, you can create a list menu with the Elementor without the Elementor. First of all, we'll show you how you can add one list menu, then we'll show you how you can edit with the Elementor. Our list menu is working properly. Now it's time to move to the next exciting features that is you can set multiple food menus based on location. How you can do that? Multiple food menus. Firstly, from the menu settings, you have to allow the locations. After saving the allow location, you will see food location under products category. Now let's see how you can set multiple location. You can add different location as much as you need. Now let's see whether it works or not. Right, our location is working absolutely fine. Let us explore two more settings from the WP Cafe. You can add different labels for each of your products. For setting up the labels, you have to get back to the settings then all products from the products option. Now edit the product and add your label, update it. Let's move to the next settings. There is no mini card icon on this page. You can add a mini card icon, change the icon primary and secondary color. Let's see how we can do it. Now let's select two different colors for primary and secondary options and then save them.
So far we talked about the free features but now it's time to dive into pro features of the WP Cafe which will offer you a lot more. Let's see what are the shortcodes available here. Starting with show business hour shortcode. It will display working time in your site. Next shortcode is category list layout which will display category as a list in your site. Similarly, you can show location as a list with the location list layout shortcode. Now, with the food menu tab shortcode, you can showcase tab style food menu in your site. You also have the opportunity to show the variable products in pop-up from the food menu shortcode and widgets. Let's move to the next shortcode. You can use the show food menu list shortcode to display the food menu in list style. Food menu slider will make your menu as a slider in your website. We also have menu tab with slider and menu load more shortcode. Let's explore one shortcode and how it looks on the page. With the WP Cafe Pro, you can override the WooCommerce product variant layout and WooCommerce default layout. Now I am going to show you how they work. First of all, we will check how can we override the WooCommerce product variant layout on your site. After that, we will explore overriding the WooCommerce default layout. If you want to share a discount offer on your website, you will have two options. Let's say you want to offer 20% flat discount for your customer. How can you do it? Set 20 in this box, then select menu and category, save it. It will add a 20% off tag in the selected category's products. In an exact way, you can offer your customer specific discount for one or multiple product category. Here I am showing how it works. You can add a custom standard money off message for all of your potential customer. Let me show you one more amusing features which is the search option. Your customer can do a live search on your website. This feature helps a lot in reducing bounce rate. Well, it's time to explore order time setting from the WP Cafe Pro. Firstly, you can set a custom title for the working schedule. Similarly, you can allow order for pickup, delivery for both or even for none. Moreover, you can show or hide the delivery type label. It's possible to set an eye-catching message for both the pickup and delivery text. It's up to you for allowing your customer specific time on both delivery and pickup. You can set a weekly pickup and delivery time schedule with the time interval. By the same token, you can set a holiday time schedule holiday delivery of weekly holiday and special holiday. For example, if you have off days, you can set it from both pickup and delivery of settings. Let me show you a live example to explain how it works. Firstly, I'll set a weekly schedule and save the settings. From the schedule, check mark the day and time. Then set the time interval, save the settings. In 
order to check the changes, I'll reload the page. Indeed, it is working absolutely fine. Now, let's do a live order for showing a few more features we have in the WP Cafe Pro. Did you notice the discount price is working here? As you offer a 10% discount for the item, it's calculating 10% less price while taking the final price. After confirming the order, you can download the invoice file or you can print the invoice directly. You along with the customer will get the order details in an email. Let's see how can you check the order details from the dashboard. We will first navigate to the order from WooCommerce menu then click on the order. Now here are the order details and you can take necessary action like recent email, notification and so on. In the same way you can update the order status as like as you want. That's all about today's video. Thank you for watching.